Um, hello, so today we are going to take a look at this interesting um, use case um, and how to accomplish it on Android. Um, so I have the emulator opened here and let's take a look at the final result um, of what it looks like. So I have here an application and then I have um, just um, a screen with a text view and then I have this bottom sheet, right? And now this bottom sheet has a header and then has a list. Um, and then what I want to accomplish is be able to, for the list below the header, be able to swipe to refresh it. And so this is a pattern that is usually accomplished by swipe to refresh layout. Um, but the, and so when I swipe down, it pulls to refresh, right? To refresh the list. Now the, the difficulty of this use case is that this is a bottom sheet, right? And so with the list, it's usually very easy, but with the bottom sheet, you have two uh, things doing the dragging. We want when we drag down, we want the sheet to go down, but also when we drag down, but only on the list side, we want to swipe down. When, when we drag down only the list, we don't want the, the sheet to go down. We just want the list to refresh, right? But if I drag down from the header, I want the sheet to go down, right? So this is the, the use case that we want to handle. So th the first, I will go through the code and explain it, but first just to make this a little bit more clear let's just add a background here um, to the to the uh, the screen and so to add a background let's just pick um, pick any color let's say maybe light blue or blue um, uh, maybe yeah any color really so color Uh, let's pick maybe teal 200, right? Okay, but we want it on the entire list. So let's try here. Yeah. So this will, get, will allow us to see the sheet a little bit better. Um, and so if we take a look again at this, what we have is... Um, okay, so now it's we can see a little bit the sheet, right? So dragging up, put the sheet up. Dragging down, collapses it. Swiping down here, even when in the collapsed state, it needs to refresh the list. And swiping in the expanded state, it needs to refresh the list, okay? Now let's go through the implementation. So if we go and see, uh, we have only one activity. This is the main activity that we defined in the application for, um, in the Android manifest. So we have it here. Um, so this is the activity. It's the launch, the one that gets launched. And then if we take a look at the XML for it, um, so we have a coordinator layout, of course, right? Um, just to handle the, usually that's the, the parent when we wanna handle um, things that are scrolling up and down, um, right? And then we have the text view here for this content. And now we have the constraint layout that we will, so this constraint layout here, this is the, the sheet content. So we have this image view, which is just this poll indicator. So just this pull here, so that's just an image. Um, and then after that, so since it's a constraint layout, we say that we want the start of the, we want the start, start to start off to be the parent and end to end off to be the parent. Once we do these two, that means it will get centered because both of them are trying to constrain it and so it will get centered. And we want it at the top of the parent as well, okay? And then after that, we have the header, which is this text here. And so that's just a, a text view that is below the pool. So I constrain it to be below the pool. And to do that, I just do top to bottom of the, the pool ID here. Um, and then after that, we get the list. Now the list here is just a recycler view, a normal recycler view. Um, I'll explain this one later, but for now, Again, start to start off, we don't need to do it to end to end up because we don't want it centered, so that's fine. So we can just do it like this. Um, actually, we don't need any constraint layout um, values for it because it's a, its parent is swipe refresh layout, which is just a view group. It's not a constraint layout. So we don't need to put the these here, right? These, these are just for constraint layout. And so we need them for the parent, right? And then we need a layout manager, right, for a recycler view, which can be either a linear layout manager or a grid layout manager. Here we want to use a linear layout manager because it's a list of items that are 
uh, place it vertically, right? It's not a grid where you have, um, you may have one here horizontally, two or three or more horizontally, right? So it's a linear layout manager, so we can specify it here. We can also specify it in the main activity, but yeah, both are work fine. Um, these are just using tools, right? So to show three items here, so just we can visually see before running it what it looks like, right? If I do four, uh, I will be able to see four if, if it's expanded, right? Um, if I do two, for example, it's just two, right? So it's just uh, a way to see. And then here, the list item is just to say what layout to use to lay out the items here in the preview. And here I'm saying just an item that just has a text view, uh, pretty much. So just a text view to display the content here. Now, um, to accomplish this, this behavior here of the swipe to refresh, we need a swipe refresh layout, which is a component in Android that just allows us to have this functionality of swiping. And then we can, we can once we get the action that someone swipe it to refresh, we can do something like update the list, refetch the network or do whatever we want, right? And the, the usage of the way to use swipe to refresh layout is to make it the parent and then to make recycler view its child, right? And so that's what we are doing here. Now for, um, for swipe to refresh layout, since it's, a, since it's a child of the constraint layout, we need to put it after the pull indicator, right? So that's what I'm doing here, right? It needs to be constrained to be um, after the header, right? And so to be after the header, I just say tap to the bottom of header, right? And then it starts from the start, which means just it's left aligned, right? To the start of the, of its parent. That's why it's, um, it's not centered or it's not way to the right or, um, like this, right? Okay, so that's on the general layout, right? Now, uh, let's see the main activity. So the main activity is pretty simple. We just get the sheet content. So this is just the, this content here is wrapped inside the constraint layout. And so we use a bottom sheet behavior. That's what allowed the sheet behavior. Android has this bottom sheet behavior, which you can just call that from and give it the layout that you wanna, you, you give it the view group that you wanna wrap the bottom sheet around and then it will create this for us this behavior for us so you can see all the content inside this sheet container right the pull indicator the header the list um, these are um, inside this sheet container and so we take that view and then we say that we want to construct a bottom sheet behavior from that sheet content right and then here this is just setting up the list so i take the list view i create its adapter um, I created the layout manager again here, but uh, we already created it here, so we don't need to do it here as well. So we can just remove that. Um, and then I will go through the, how the, what the adapter looks like, but essentially here we create items, five, right? We just do from one to five, um, and we just say item at index. So just a quick way to, uh, to do a demo here, to do a sample here. And then we set these items on the adapter, uh, and then we set the adapter to the list view or to the recycler view. So that's pretty much it here. In terms of the adapter code, it's just the usual adapter, right? Extending recycler view, that adapter, having a view holder here that just points to the, the view that we wanna add the, set the data to. So that's just, this is the item uh, layout. So the layout of each item in the recycler view. Um, and then here, so when we on create view holder, that's where we pass that item. And then in on bind view holder, we just get the value um, of the data right, that we want to assign to that item. So we have this items list that contains all the strings that we want to display. And then we take the one at that position and then take the label from the view holder and assign the text to it. So that's what gets us here having item. If we want to, if we look at the layout, we have one to five. So we have one to five here that are set. Uh, and then we have this set item. We just set to this so that we can, uh, we can display it. One thing to note, if we already did set the adapter, we definitely we, we will need to do adapter that notify that there is a change it here, right? Just to notify the adapter that the content changed, sorry, here actually. Just to notify the adapter that the content changed so that it can get updated. Um, but since we are setting the adapter after setting the items, no need for that. Um, and then here, this is just handling the swipe to refresh layout behavior, right? So. What we want is when this action is triggered, we want to launch a refresh, 
and then once we launch the refresh we want to hide the refresh indicator right so here you could imagine uh, maybe I could just even do it so maybe I could say here let's just add maybe to eight right um, and then set those and then here I could do adapter that notify there is a change And then once I'm done, I, w I want to, I want this refresh layout. Let's actually do this here. As soon as we get the callback that a refresh action was done, we set the, the new items, right? So maybe here items V2, right? And then we notify there is a change for the adapter. And this is just something I'm doing to, to mimic a network request being slow. But what you want to do is do your network request and then after the result comes back you want to set is refreshing to false just so that this wipe refresh layout hides the refresh indicator right okay so now let's run this with the new values we have okay so now you can see we have v2 um, updated to v2 right now one other thing that i haven't explained yet is why do we need this nested scrolling set to false this is pretty important so let's demonstrate this by first like removing it so and let's see what it looks like if we remove it okay so i removed it now the sheet still goes up and down fine but if i do you can see here if i try to swipe on the list the bottom sheet behavior takes over, right? And doesn't let me um, scroll the list. What this nested scroll enabling false does is the way bottom sheet behavior works is that it looks it looks at its children, right? And tries in a de like depth first manner to find the first child that has nested scrolling enabled to true. If there is one, it d it gives it that touch event, right? And so that means if you drag, if this was true, right? If you drag um, here, the bottom sheet takes over and says and handles it because we said that nested scrolling is enabled. Uh, but if nested scrolling is false, then it skips. It does. The bottom sheet doesn't doesn't handle that scrolling event, and so that would mean that the swipe to refresh layout will get to handle it, right? And so this is why we need this here. So if I do this, I can't swipe to refresh anymore because the bottom sheet considers the... Because by default, the recycler view has nested scrolling enabled to true. And so the bottom sheet c takes over that event and do it for dr and handles dragging for it. But if we do false, the bottom sheet doesn't. And so that allows the swipe to refresh layout um, action to execute and give us the this swipe to refresh layout behavior, right? Um, so that's why we need this. Um, this is pretty important if you are, are using swipe refresh layout inside a bottom sheet behavior. Um, it's pretty important to use this, right? Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this example. Um, the main idea was how in a how can we create a bottom sheet behavior that has a recycler view with a swipe to refresh um, action, right? Um, cool. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.